In this video, I'll be ranking the best Dino scenes in Camp Cretaceous. We now have all the seasons to work with, so let's rank. Side note, these aren't preferences, it's just what dinosaurs had the best shining moments, and again, this is my opinion. So, with all that being said, let's rank this. So coming in at number 9, it would be the classic T-Rex. Now again, I don't hate T-Rex, obviously I don't hate T-Rex, as a T-Rex, I love the T-Rex. But in Camp Cretaceous, they haven't had really memorable moments. Now you might be thinking, but what about Big E versus Spinosaurus? I guess I can see that. But I'll talk about more Rexy. Rexy's not really done anything impressive or any memorable stunts. And T-Rex has been in most Jurassic media. All the films, the series. I think it's nice to see some other species get some spotlight, don't you? Coming in number 8, the Spinoceratops, the little cute hybrid. Yes, this is a original underrated hybrid, but at the same time, it didn't give us anything. I don't really know what the point of it was. There's literally no point of having it in this franchise other than just to make it look cute, I guess. It's done nothing. It's not a killer hybrid. It's just a random Spinoceratops half Spinosaurus. Spinoceratops. I don't know why this is in this franchise, but it is. Coming in number seven, a new addition, the Nothosaurus. Now, yes, this is a cool creature. I do like it. And it has had some cool scenes. It's very aggressive. But it hasn't really done anything too memorable as of right now. Maybe we might see it in the future of the series. I do like its concept and where it lives. But what we've really seen it do is kill one Dilophosaurus. Number six, the Baryonyx. Now this is amazing. I love how Camp Cretaceous does this. They grab these underrated species in the main six films of the franchise. Not really well known to the public. So in Camp Cretaceous, they add on that and make them super well-loved and popular. And this goes straight for the Baryonyx. There's three Baryonyxes, Limbo, Chaos, and Grim. I believe two of them have been killed now. One still remains, I believe. They were fantastic additions to the franchise. We love the Baryonyxes. Number five, the Ankylosaurus, or more specifically, Bumpy. Bumpy was a fantastic addition to this franchise. I actually really like her colour scheme, and she's had some really memorable moments, such as beating the hell out of Toro, helping our campers, almost getting killed by the Indominus Rex at the beginning, and I really do like Bumpy in this franchise. I'd love to see her in live action, I really would. She's a cool Ankylosaurus. Number four, the Ceratosaurus. Now, many of you guys know that that is one of my favourite dinosaurs ever. I love it so much. I love the Ceratosaurus. And we've had tons of action of Ceratosaurus in Camp Cretaceous. We only had one scene of it in the actual sixth film, and that was Jurassic Park 3. It did nothing. I don't know why it was in there, but I'm so happy it was there. In Camp Cretaceous, though, well, we've had tons of Ceratosaurus screen time. We've had a black Ceratosaurus. I think we've had a blind Ceratosaurus. We had some cool Ceratosaurus scenes at the beginning of the seasons. And we had the exact Ceratosaurus from JP3 in Season 4 of Camp Cretaceous in Cash's Bunker. Yes, that Spinosaurus was the exact one from JP3. Number three, the Spinosaurus. Now, this dinosaur is heavily loved, heavily controversy, heavily big. Yeah, it's had some pretty cool action while it's been in the show. Season four, it did not do too much, but its memorable scene was probably killing the Smilodon. And as we know, in season five, it had the rematch with the classic T-Rex. So yeah, Spinosaurus has had two big scenes in Camp Cretaceous and already made it memorable scenes. Number two, the Carnotaurus, or more specifically, Toro. Everybody loves this Carnotaurus, a legendary Carnotaurus, well known in the community. Toro is awesome. I mean, he's survived an explosion to the goddamn face, for goodness sake. We love Toro. Toro is awesome. An aggressive Carnotaurus, our favorite individual Carnotaurus in his franchise. Honestly, Toro is amazing. You can't say no to Toro. Toro's had some cool scenes as well, such as fighting Bumpy. In season five, he had a lot of screen time. So, yes. I think it's safe to say that Toro is awesome. And number one, the one and only hybrid exclusive to Camp Cretaceous. Yes, you guessed it right, the Scorpius Rex. Now this isn't the best hybrid in the franchise for me, in my personal opinion, but it has the best hybrid scenes in Camp Cretaceous. It was exclusively dedicated to season three of Camp Cretaceous. It's never been in a live action film. It's only been in season three of Camp Cretaceous, so this is why Scorpius Rex, I like it a lot. It's had some awesome scenes, such as killing past Rolophus, Brachiosaurus, attempted to kill an Akadosaurus, but it was just too weak and thrilled to do that. And actually poisoning Sammy and almost killing her. Yes, Scorpius Rex had some 
fantastic and memorable scenes and this is why in my opinion Scorpius Rex is the best portrayed creature in this franchise of characterization. What did you guys think of the Scorpius Rex and all these other dinosaurs on this list? What was your favorite? Please let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video maybe stick around and watch some more videos I do. We do loads of characterization videos, Jurassic World Dominion videos and overall fun Jurassic Park topics. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.